right, so I'm sitting where I left off, 1464. I haven't played any games. Currently it's before midnight, so I'm doing all right with timing. But it's also a bit later, so there shouldn't be any annoying sounds or police sirens. But you never know. Okay, so we're going for 15 plus 10 minute game again. And let's see who we match up against. It would be nice if I get another 1500. All right, so I'm playing at 1470. I'm playing as black again. Let's see if I'm going to win as black again. That would be, that'd be pretty good if I do end up doing that. So he's developed his knight. Let's see if he's going to take, go for the exchange. Okay, so he's taken. Apparently not the exchange. So yeah, I'm going to block the check with my knight. If he takes, I'll just take back. Oh, my friend has already castled. We've got early castle here. <laughs> I'm feeling quite reckless, not going to lie. Should I just go for a straight up kingside attack? All right, I'm gonna get my bishop out first. If he does this, I'm not sure if I'm gonna take. <laughs> I never do. I'm gonna I'm gonna move back. I think I can move back, right? Uh, I kind of want to keep the pin. If he does this, I'll just take this diagonal, and this structure here might be a target. So I'm not gonna take because I mean the queen coming out isn't really gonna do much for me. It's gonna target this pawn, and yeah, the queen's gonna be in the game quite quickly if I if I do take. So. I'm alright with this. Oh, alright, so we have an attack on my bishop and two pieces attacking my knight here. So what can I do? My first thought was this, which does protect this square. And if he does take, I open up this and this is a target. So if he doesn't not take my bishop, it's not really good for him. So if I just defend this piece, I think I'm fine. The thing is, this guy hasn't really got out many of his pieces and he's already going for an attack. So it's kind of doomed to fail. So I think this is a, a fine move. Yeah, I'm just trying to see the drawbacks of that move. Well, it removes the defender of this piece, but we've got a bishop, and I'm gonna move this piece up anyway to free my bishop. Yeah, I was thinking maybe maybe the rook or the queen takes the e-file, but it's fine. And yeah, if he, if he does take this, happy days to be honest, because it frees this. And I might just not castle altogether. Like honestly, I might just go straight for a king side attack. Okay, so yeah, this pawn is hanging now. I, for some reason, didn't note that, but now I notice that it's hanging because the, the knight's attacking it. And yeah, I can't take this because the knight's also defending this bishop here. This defends this pawn, so that's cool. Weakens this square, weakens this square. I don't think he could get into any of those squares easily as of currently. Yeah, I don't see a way of him getting in. So yeah, I'm kind of hoping he'll take, but I think he's not gonna take because yeah, this is like, it'd be quite bad for him if he does. And then I think I'll get my bishop in. Yeah, I'm going to develop my bishop first. Usually I would do the knight in the Karakhan. But the knight doesn't really have anywhere to jump. So he kind of has to jump here. But I'm going to get this bishop out first. To ask it questions. Alright, so he's targeting this piece here. Actually, not just that. He's targeting this piece. Uh, with these two pieces here. And also this. I'm just trying to see if he does end up sacking his knight. Is, is it going to be bad? I feel like it is going to be bad. Because I take back. Queen gets in, this whole file is open, so the rook could get in, and then he could discover checks. And also, if the queen gets in here, there's one, two, and three attackers, because the queen will be here, attacking this one piece here. I have two defenders, and i got to get my rook in. It's gonna, yeah, it could get quite nasty if he does do this move. The thing is, that 1400 actually do that. <laughs> so I think, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of, like, hey, this is like a very sensible move, defend this piece, and I develop a knight. So that sorts all my problems out and it develops a piece. So I think that's a decent move. And then, yeah, now I think I will get my bishop out to attack this knight here, which he's already defended, fair enough. But I'm gonna do this anyway. Let's go the defense of this piece. I don't see any problems with that. So yeah, gonna attack this piece. I think he's gonna go for trades now. And then I will just castle, because if he doesn't move, I'm gonna take. I've made this mistake before where I let the knight stay here and I just got destroyed because I was refusing to trade my bishop out for this knight. So he's kicking my knight out, which removes a defender, which I said could have been problematic. But in this scenario, I could actually castle and maybe get out of it. Or I could take, take, and then take back like this if he does. Or I could take, this comes in. Wait, can I hop in here? No, there's three pieces attacking it. So I'll take, and then I take back. This does help me get away, but I'm just thinking if I just want to get rid of this knight before I do anything. The rook gets in, which if I castle, forces 
this trade here because else I will take the rook and also be attacking the queen. I think I'm going to take first. I'm going to take first because if he does do this, like take, take, I keep my bishop here. Yeah, and here I can move this. I could do this move here. This is totally fine. This trade can happen. I will gain a tempo on the queen and he doesn't really have an... I was going to say he doesn't really have an attack, but this pawn is quite advanced. I just want to consider other options first before I move. This attacks the rook. Oh wait, if I do this, he can't take because this is hanging. I'm moving there. Totally missed that. He can't even take. So well, I assume, okay, then I guess he's going to... He's going to have to trade first if he wants to trade this piece. So this, 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 this. Again, tempo on the queen. I mean, I'm kind of thinking prematurely. It depends on what happens in the next move, but... Maybe this could be an option, just to trade this rook and get my knight in, and then I could castle, because this pawn is quite advanced. Excuse me? Oh my god, I totally forgot this was pinned. I could win this piece now. Wait, this, 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 this. So a rook and a bishop for my two minor pieces. I win the exchange now. But if I move, this is a fork. <laughs> I loses me the queen. Oh wow. Oh wow, I did not see this coming at all. Yeah, of course there's gonna be sirens. Check, move, he takes, I take. So I rook for a rook, but I lose casting the rights. And my queen's in the center. This maybe, attacks the queen, take. Oh, attacks the queen. But he's gonna go for the check anyway. Oh, but I could take, so he can't. This, take, then I could take. But he comes back and checks. I don't know, man. I can't think of it. Oh my god, my queen's hanging. I'm actually so lucky right here. Because if he, if he does take, he loses two pieces. And then, yeah, he could take this as well. But I could castle. That was so lucky. I totally forgot that my queen was hanging. <sighs> Alright. This game got really stressful really quickly. Last game, I done someone with a tactic. And now I'm being done with a tactic. What goes around comes around. So, yeah. If he takes, I take. But to be honest, my position is really bad. These two pieces, yeah. What about this? I mean, I take, he just comes back. You know what? Screw it. So if he does this, I move. Now, he's got two pieces hanging, actually. This piece and this piece. But, oh, okay, I didn't really think of that move. All right, here, I think my opponent actually made a mistake because I could castle now and everything is defended. So I'm going to castle. <sighs> yeah, this is, that was a close call, actually. He should, he should have thrown in a check. I think he would have actually won if he did. But he's up a pawn. I'm not sure if I want to trade everything. But taking like this splits my pawns. This, this, this also splits my pawns. So no difference. If I do this, I mean, I have a piece here that I could grab. If I take it this way, I don't know, maybe he defends this piece like that. Do I have any sort of advantage in this position? His king's not safe. That's about it. Split pawns here. So I'm not sure if I want to actually trade pieces because I feel like I have something here. My king is safe uh, and he's up a pawn. So I think I should just not give up more material. And yeah, so he's, de he's defending that piece. Fair enough. Right, so, okay. So, this is a move. Just trying to see if there's any tactics there for me. I actually think my position is alright. Now, thinking about it, I have like a lot of lines. His bishop's trapped back here. If I do this... Wait, how could he actually stop me from getting in here? I don't think he can. He could, he could move the, the king. That's fine. But then I have this. I don't, sorry. <laughs> but I still have this. Then maybe even double up. Oh, I might have something going here, cause he, his king is um, his king is open. But yeah, I have to remember not to overcommit. Um, that's a thing I do, and someone in the comments actually mentioned. Not like in this scenario with the rooks or anything, but just in general, I actually do overcommit. And this, this I've noticed in my games, like I remove a lot of pieces that are defending my king, just to try and go finish off my opponent. But if it doesn't work, I think I should have some sort of a backup. You know, some sort of a way to come back. All right, yeah, this is a move. Whoops. It's then this, maybe. Check. Just takes. This, this. Check. Oh, this pins him. This joins my pawns back up. Oh, it does not. Do not blunder. No blundering. This attacks the queen. And then with hopes of doubling up. Yeah, I'm going to go for this. Gain a tempo on the queen. And then I might be able to double up. And yeah, it's, it's going to be... He's, he's basically down three points because this... Bishop isn't doing anything. He rolled two points because he's got a point. He's won one of my pawns. But yeah, uh, the idea here is actually... Uh, this was the first idea that, idea that crossed my mind is actually this, which I don't think I vocalised. 
because I have two pieces here. So let's see here. He's attacking this square. If I do this, he can block, but loses. Is there a way of him actually? Oh, he could defend like this. And then I could get my bishop here, attacking him. Or is this better, doubling up? Hmm. If I double up, he just moves back out. So it doesn't really achieve anything. If I do this, he can't move. He still loses the game. Let's double check. Let's just make sure we're not blocking anything. If I do this, he can't discover an attack. Again, checkmate. Do this. Defends. Bishop. Discovers an attack. I take with check. So it doesn't work for him. It's got to work. Like, there should be something here for me. I, like, I, I at least must be winning material. This is a block. But I just take. Oh, did not think of that. Again, we have to watch out for this discovery. I was actually thinking he could do this. But look, the checkmate and discover an attack. All right, what about just sacking a piece here? So this is kind of annoying. <laughs> He's blocked my attack. I could do this, this, or do I do this, this? I maybe sack. No, I'm just I'm just going through ideas. No. Oh, he has two attackers on this as well. All right, what about no? Doesn't work. All right, I'm gonna defend like this. So stops the discovered attack and defends his piece. And I'm running low on time, so don't wanna mess about for too long. Yeah, expected. Maybe this is the next move. This is check though. I don't know why I didn't see that. Oh, no, I mean, yeah, that's a blunder. This is check, can block. But I'm gonna throw in that check, see what happens, because I wanna come in here and attack this piece here. So if he does block, fine. If he moves there, defends his piece. But I mean, he could always move there to be fair, even after he blocks. So if I go here, all right, so cool, that's fine. Anything more forcing, let's see. Wait, what about this move? Oh, defend like this, can't. All right, so how's he gonna defend now? Like this, this, this. All right, I'm gonna go for this, all right? So I'm just wasting a lot of time. This is a good move, whatever. He just does that. I guess I'll go up here, pin his piece. I might have something like, I might want to make some breathing room for my king as well, but I just don't want to let him, I don't want to let him loose right now. Then this is a move, forking the pieces. Just want to see if there's a mistake here. That hangs that piece, but you know what? It's all right. I have something much more dangerous going on here. And then he could come defend like this, to be fair. All right, I'm going to, I'm just going to go for this. I'm not going to lie, I'm not thinking a lot right now because there's three minutes on the, on the clock. But like, this is surely not good for him. And then maybe even this, and then this. Maybe checkmate. Yeah, cool. Watch out here, because check, take, checkmate. I'm gonna make breathing room, I think. Wait, what if I take? Oh no, the queen just takes back. Wait, check? No. All right, I'm gonna make breathing, breathing room. Uh, so here, I think we have a trade. And that protects our piece, to be honest. So, I'm not quite sure what to do. But yeah, this bishop here is actually quite useful right now. Thinking about it, it's Defending my pieces. So he's up two point, uh, two, two pawns. I still think I might have something, surely. There's gonna be three points probably now. Three points up maybe. Cause this is hanging, but again, he needs to defend like this. But I could do this to be fair. And then I win this piece. Or oh, this, and if he doesn't take, let's say he attacks this piece. I take, he can't take actually, cause it's defended. Wait, but my point is this, this, um, if I had to, <laughs> I mean, this makes no sense, but this, this, check, take, then it's mate is my point. But obviously my opponent can make moves. I'm not just playing against myself here, but there's opportunities. Surely he's going to give me one. Like surely his king is not safe. He's up two points, but I have the advantage, I feel. He probably wants to bring his other rook into the game. Let's see how he handles that. And he does have a pass pawn. So this attack I'm about to do has to be like literally perfect. All right, so his rook is defending this piece, but uh, I, I assume he thinks it's a threat that uh, I'm attacking this, um, but this is actually the real threat. Oh, he's moved quickly. So he's attacking this. If I take, he can't even take this. If I take, check. All right, I'm taking this. Check, take, mate. This is mate, like literally. Or oh, check, move there, or oh, wait. Oh, we might get away. <laughs> we might get away. Wait. Check moves here. No. Check moves here. All right. So yeah, I expect this as well. I could just block. Yeah, I think the, my best bet is to block here. All right. Yeah, there's that. 
So this is an idea. Then check moves does make right. Well, I mean, let's see, let's see. I'm just I'm just thinking of ideas. This is intense. Wow, this is way more intense than it needs to be. Okay, so he's going for this. I'm tempted. Wait, what if I do this now? Let's say he takes. Oh, he just blocks like this. All right, it doesn't work. All right, I'm tempted to do this, which hangs my piece. <laughs> Take, check, it doesn't work. Oh, damn it. I don't know what to do. All right, I'm gonna move back, defending this piece, and then I'm gonna move. I think that's my best bet. When I look back at the evaluation, if I missed any moves there, I'll be very upset with myself. Like in this scenario we're in right now, with the king being exposed and me trying to wriggle my way in, if I've actually missed a move, I wouldn't be happy with myself, honestly. All right, so he's, he's just going for it. Hmm. Again, check, no, doesn't work. Let's double check this, actually. I think this is fine. This comes with a check. I could do this now, actually. But this, I want to get the queen out first. Queen, check. This, it gets away though. Wait, check, slides. Oh yeah, wait, I said that, that was a checkmate earlier, no? But it's not, wait, wait. Mm, he can block, but is he gonna? I'm gonna throw in a check. If he does block, what do I do? Doesn't work. Yeah, he blocks. Check, take. No, I don't want to trade. Check, take. Doesn't work. This is a move. Gonna go for this. It doesn't work. Maybe this. Blocks, but I could take. So he has these three pawns just charging the queen. Uh, yeah, I have to get this right. But you could move, make this move right now. I think that kills my, my hopes. Then maybe I could try to ask the queen questions. I have a minute 40 on the clock. <sighs> I'm stressed. It's not making it easy for me. He's probably going to make this move. Oh, he can't. Sorry. This pins him. Oh, wait. So I can do this. Is he going to go for a run already? But then I could check. Lose the queen. And then the rook is wrong. Have I just won? <laughs> I just realized, I think I, I think I might have won. No checks. He could do a random, random um, bishop sack. But I think I'll just continue with what I'm doing. Oh, wow. Hold on. Yeah, he's thinking. I think I got him. I finally got him, I think. This did, uh, I must have. Like, this is it. It has to be. This has dragged on for way longer than it should have. <laughs> I mean, the only way I see him getting out of this one is literally... Sacking the queen, but even that doesn't save him. Check moves up. I win the rook as well. Actually, the other one is a trade. Oops, I didn't see that. But I do get the queen if he does, like uh, sack his queen. Yeah, he's. <laughs> it's been like two minutes. I think he's gonna. His clock's gonna come down to one minute forty as well. I honestly don't see a way of him getting out of this. I I must have got him now, like surely. All right, so he's made a run for it. So this means check take. Or check, king runs. Or if I check this way, this, check this way, runs, check, up, doesn't work. Oh, I don't know now. Check, moves here. <sighs> I'm going to throw this check in first. I don't know why. I thought he had to trade automatically for some odd reason. He doesn't actually have to. Moves there, check. He just moves back up though. Wait, what about this? Going for this, this, I'll just check again. Up, I pin him. So this is a mate threat. I have 48 seconds on the clock. Oh no, blocks, check, but blocks. He has time on the clock, so I have to think of another way. Blocks, I'm not even gonna think about it. Check, moves there. I could take this, no? Can't take. It's a discovery as well, but you could take, but then I take his queen. Oh my God, he can't even get out of the discovery. He's, he's lost his queen. He can't stop the discovery. The queen is mine. Let's go. If I don't, if I don't win this game, I'll be so annoyed, so annoyed. Check. Take. I'll just take. He's finished. Maybe there was a mate there to be fair, but fuck it. I'm just taking the queen. It's Ten second increments. So I don't think I'm gonna run out of time. He can't take this. And if he moves or whatever, like you can't block this check. If he moves somewhere, he's quick. Let's go. Three blunders, one miss. I don't care, man. <laughs> All right, let's review this. So I've made the blunder apparently. <laughs> he hasn't made a blunder. There's three misses for him. He's made a brilliant move. What was a brilliant move? 
I'm pretty sure I made the brilliant moves. The fuck? So, yeah, going on my jolly way, same accuracy, and I've made a mistake there, moving this, because it reduces the defender of this piece here. And I should have thought of this, because you know why? It's going to take me a while to castle. So, it's very possible that this pawn here that I'm pushing is going to get pinned, and this is going to be undefended. So, really, what I should have done is probably this. Yeah. Defend with my rook. You live and you learn. So, he's made a miss there, apparently. He ignored a better way to defend the bishop that was on the attack. Bring the queen in, probably, yeah? No. Oh, that's a crazy move. Oh, that's that's nasty. Oh, wow. Alright, so, he's made a mistake there, too. And I've missed. I've made a miss. Develop a piece while winning a tempo on the night. Wait, wait, why did I... Okay, so this was the move I considered. I assume this is the move it wants. But why didn't I do it? Well, there was a reason why. Oh yeah, I was worried about this sacrifice here. Is that not really a threat then? I just want to know if that was... So, is this, is this not a threat? It does lose material, but... I capture... I capture the, the bishop. Oh, I don't even take... I, oh, I don't even ruin my structure. That's right, I could just take the bishop. Oh, wow. I missed that. Alright, so that's a miss, fair enough. Inaccuracy, that's the best move. This is a mistake. Yeah, okay, that was the best move. Taking the knight was the best move. Because I know, bro, I've, I've been through this. Like, that knight being there has been really bad for me in the past. He takes back. This is a blunder. Your pawn is undefended. It, in fact, is. I did not see this at all. So here, I have a knight on the attack. And also a pawn. So, I think... So if I castle here, this attacks the rook actually because it unpins my knight. So I castle, he takes, and then do I attack the rook again to get out of the attack? No, that doesn't even work that because the bishop will be there. He would just take back. All right, I hope this is making sense because I'm not really articulating my thoughts properly. But I castle, he takes, and then I was thinking this, but you just take my knight again with his bishop. Doesn't work. And obviously can't take because I'm pinned. I need a hint. Just straight up attack. But this is a move still. I don't understand. You see what Stockfish does things like like just trading pieces because it sees that taking this and then me moving somewhere that's gonna be completely troubling for him. Oh wait, you can't. I'll just take back. <laughs> oh no, I can't wait, 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 sorry, sorry, wait, wait, no, no. Wait, wait, I've got this completely wrong. I can't just take. Take, take, and then I get. I get forked, so that doesn't work. So, okay, I just want to know what happens if he just takes this from this position. I take? Oh, yeah, because this comes with a check. Oh, wow. All right, I see it now. Man, knights could jump far, you know. Anyway, that was a blunder, so that's a brilliant move. That was a brilliant move. Fair enough, that is a brilliant move. I give it to you. Mistake. So, I actually had a better move here. Enlighten me, Stockfish. You just want me to sight my fucking queen. <laughs> take it this way. No, that's using me the queen actually. Because remember the fork. Alright, so attacks this piece. So I guess check, move, take, and then I take. Ah, I think I actually considered that, no? Yeah, I think I considered that in the game. But I opted for this, which was apparently a mistake. He made a miss, which I'm not going to investigate because we would be here all day. Um, trade, and then I castle. Alright. So it's going good here. I have a slight advantage. This is a mistake. That was the best move. Me moving back was the best move. This is a mistake. Okay. You see, I thought I had like an imminent threat. That's why I did this. But in the long term, me doing this is actually way better. Like, I feel like the game would have been over. Like, literally quite quickly. I should have stuck to the principles. Anyways, I did this move. So he blocks. I move back. Yeah. Yeah. This is a mistake as well. Uh, I mean, I couldn't give you exactly what moves makes this a mistake, but he's just cornering his, his king, really. Uh, but I guess if he moves out this way, then I can't even check, so that doesn't work. I guess from here he should have blocked. we we'll never know. That's a mistake? I thought that was his only defense. What's his, what's his defense? Oh, wow. But I take a pull, no? This is bad for him, no? Surely no, you're not going to let me have a fucking rook on the 7th rank for no reason. That doesn't even make sense. I don't understand Stockfish. This is a miss. Oh, should I have just taken this piece here? 
Oh wait, no, that's a double attack. It doesn't work. Is it this? Oh yeah, this comes with a check. Wow, why did I not see that? He pushes his rook. All right, uh, I don't know why he traded off. I feel like he would have had a much better attack if he just kept that rook, because this rook here isn't being useful, is it? It's just stuck back there. So this happened. I attack his queen, slash the pawn. Then I take the pawn, which is apparently a mistake. Then the queen gets in, and then I attack the queen. Then I move back, so I'm playing all the best moves here. He pushes the pawn, all right. Pushes the other pawn, check, blocks. I double on the h file, moves, check. Okay, that was the best move. Moves, inaccuracy. All right, also, why is it inaccuracy? Yeah. How the fuck is that inaccuracy? <laughs> What's the best move there then? Is there a move that literally just takes all his pieces or what? Oh, dumbass, it's fucking pinned. Damn. Oh, anyways, well, this happened, and then I basically played all the best moves from here, and he resigned. Oh, don't know how to feel about that, actually. Looks like I made quite a few mistakes, but, like, when I had the advantage, I didn't let go. Like, as you can see, I don't know if you can actually see, let me check. No, you can't see, damn. But on the top, it shows, like, how the game went. So it was balanced for a bit of it, where I made the blunder and mistake, he had the advantage. And then I was totally winning here, apparently. And then I made a huge miss. But yeah, this should have, I should have really, really should have seen this. And defends this piece as well. So that's that. I feel like today's episode is quite long, actually. A lot of you guys kick off after the game. So this review bit is for the extras that people like to see. I'll just put it up anyway. Whoa, the recording is 52 minutes. I have a lot of editing to do. I feel like this will be up after midnight. So anyways, um, so I sit at 14.72. Currently just playing one game a day. Tomorrow I feel like, I'm not sure if I'll have any more time than actually one game again. We'll see. Yeah, anyways, so I'll end on 1472 and I'll see you here tomorrow.